Alrighty, my friends, let's talk about radio buttons. All right, radio buttons, check boxes. All of you guys love them and hate them at the same time because they are a pain in the butt. We have some radio buttons here, and if we take a look at them, take a look. First of all, to check each of these items is their own elements. But not to mention, we also need to care about the text that is directly to the right of them, right? But how do you check the appropriate box and read the text in order to make that happen? So, if I wanted to click on this one, I love Quick Test Pro button, you can see the HTML. So we have a form. You guys see the form highlighted above in blue? This is our form. Inside of the form, we have several inputs. So we have input 1, input 2, and input 3. Just radio. This is the radio button. You can see it's type radio. So it's a radio button. And then it has a value. How cool is that? Right? So we can use that, for example, to select our appropriate radio button. And also, it has another attribute called checked meaning that is it checked or not so the other buttons for example i love selenium web driver has checked equals to checked the other ones do not because they are not checked and when they are checked that is how you will be able to know which button is checked or not so if i wanted to select the second one that i love quick test pro which i don't anymore I can use type radio and it has a value I love quick test pro right or even better we could probably do something like this and then do add value equals what I love quick test let's hit enter and that did not work let me copy this over and let's see why it did not work so that didn't work because Add value. I love quick test. Let's add an input. Oh, duh. It's I love quick test pro. And I forgot the pro. And so, of course, there is no value with I love quick test. There is a value with I love quick test pro. It's not a wildcard character here. So, I love quick test pro. You guys see how that works? And so, therefore, that allows me to select the I Love Quick Test Pro button. And, of course, if you just wanted, you know, to do like a wildcard character, you guys can do the at contains text, I Love Quick Test, in there. And then if it contains that text, right, it's going to select it. But with the value attribute, you cannot do that because it has to be the exact full string. And so, that's how we can identify this radio button. And if we check it, check out the HTML below, which needs to reload. Oh, and it was not checked, and I apologize. I'm no HTML expert, but now I remember that this actually means that this radio button is going to be checked by default anytime that the page loads. So that's why it has the checked equals checked.